Good morning everybody. I am still alive and I think it's probably six weeks or more since my last post. I do apologise it's been so long and as you can see the bongo is looking a little sad today. Um, between the storms and the gritting on the roads it's all got a very very dusty um, and the inside is really untidy. So that, together with the fact that I haven't done any filming for a few weeks, has the van let me down? Well, of course, the answer to that is a resounding no. I do apologise for my long absence. Life has become rather busy over the last few weeks and I will explain in more detail what's been happening a little later. But today it's a lovely sunny Sunday and I've got some time on my hands and a free couple of hours ahead. So I am going to treat the van to what it thoroughly, thoroughly deserves, which is a little trip to the car wash and a tidy up inside. So let's go and get this poor van looking respectable again. Well, <laughs> that's the uh, car wash done. Um, all the young kids here are with their cars, so it's quite busy, even though it's quite early on a Sunday morning. It's nice to see everybody up. Um, I think I am just as much cleaned as the van. Um, so now we're going to take it for a little drive to get it air dry. I'm going to head to Puth Paul, one of my favourite places, park up for the day and sort out the inside to make it more camper van again. Well here we are parked in Pukul, beautiful day. Rest Bay car park is pretty quiet. Pukul is getting busy though so I found a nice car park space, lovely view of the sea behind me so I'm going to pay for a ticket and start tidying the inside. Okay, the season has changed. It's after the 1st of April now, so car parking all day at Rest Bay has gone up. It's £1 per day in the winter, but now it's £4 per day, which is still pretty reasonable, I think, for such a prime location and people watching opportunities and sea watching opportunities. So, yep, yeah, got my ticket. Now to tidy the inside. Do you know, it doesn't seem two minutes really since I was parked in almost the same spot, I think, back just before Christmas when I filmed my Christmas video. And yes, yeah, a lot has happened, and I will tell you all about that in a second. Um, but such a long time has gone by since I've had any leisure time in the van, the mess has rather built up inside here. So I'm going to do a little bit of sorting a bit of dusting and make it more presentable for me to tell you um, all the news that's been happening around here. I told you uh, it didn't seem long since I was here at Christmas time. Um, in my van, I'm ashamed to say, I, uh, I still have my little Christmas decoration. Um, rather unseasonal, now it's almost Easter. Maybe I can turn it into an Easter branch, put some eggs on it or something. Mm. Or maybe I can just put it on the uh, the chimney. I brought along a, a bag of goodies for today. Some of it is leisure, a book, uh, my water, some food items, rolls and mustard. I wonder what I could be planning to cook. Frankfurters, yes, fancied some hot dogs today. The rest of this bag then is full of cleaning materials, so 
some good old polish and a duster glass cleaner and my latest purchase from amazon is this i know people have had these for absolutely ages i'm quite late to the party but this is the window vacuum the karcher one and i am absolutely loving this in the house for cleaning the bathrooms and the shower screens gorgeous streak free, streak free finish and has made a world of difference and um, i brought it along today just to give maybe the inside windows um, i can't remember the last time i cleaned the inside of the glass so i'm going to give it a, um, a bit of a wash streak free hopefully and then polish it with a little bit of um, glass as you can see i'm really going to town you can tell how guilty i feel about the state this van has got into so i'm going all out Well, now I have cleaned all the inside of the windows with my little vacuum cleaner and the outside actually. Um, drew some glances. I think people are, I think I might be a little eccentric and I don't know why they would think such a thing. Um, but that's the beauty of that cleaner is it's rechargeable so you can use it anywhere, which is why it's so brilliant for bathroom tiles, shower screens, as well as windows, obviously. Um, and in the van, yeah, I went to the car wash, but because there's no dryer on it, it does leave streaks on the glass. And there's still a few streaks, to be fair. But um, the windows are looking cleaner than they have for a very long time. So all in all, I'm reasonably happy with the van shaping up to look more like its old self. Um, there's a few things to put away now. I know Richard has been in here um, and he has had a little tidy up, but things have been put in strange places. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, just reorganize a little bit. And then I am going to tell you my news. Now, I can't tell you how much I feel so nice coming back to the van and just sitting and watching and just looking at the surroundings, looking around inside the van, feeling all cozy. And it genuinely is weeks and weeks since I've done that. And yeah, once I'm back in it now, it just feels so lovely, especially as the van is all clean and tidy again. So why have I been away so long, you might ask? Well, you may remember back in January, Holly and I went away for a night to a hotel. And while we were there, we made an exciting announcement. Holly <laughs> is expecting a baby. I'm going to be a gran um, in the not too distant future, actually, um, in the spring. So we bought some of these lovely. Oh, oh my goodness, that feels like a lifetime ago. It was only January. But yes, my daughter Holly expecting a baby in the spring. And as you may have guessed, the event has actually happened. Holly has a beautiful baby boy on March the 13th. His name is Albi and he is absolutely stunning. I am a very, very, very proud grandma indeed. I've decided I want to be a gran or possibly a granny. Might change as Albi grows and starts calling me something different. But for now I am a granny and absolutely loving being a granny. I was Holly's birth partner, so I was really, really involved. Um, and that's really why I've been away over the last three weeks. Prior to that, Holly's been living with us for, um, well, certainly the past, um, over lockdown and everything. And just two weeks before, or maybe three weeks before Albie was born, she actually got her hands on a flat, a really lovely flat and it was clean and freshly painted but it needed a few little home touches so um, we went over to help Holly decorate it 
get it like home really and we were there you know hours and hours getting the flap ready for her and the baby and um, so that took up a lot of time so that is why I haven't really had the time to go out for the day and film not to mention all the editing etc so you might be thinking and what I alluded to at the start of this video is has the bongo been abandoned during this really really busy time um, it's looking very dusty very messy is that because I have just left it on the driveway absolutely not the bongo has been in more action over the last few months probably than in the entire um, eight years since I bought the van as you know Richard and I moved house over Christmas so the van was in a lot of action then back and forth the tip moving furniture Ikea trips etc that all settled down but when Holly got the flat um, I was over there helping her sort of make it a home as I said and at the start of that period in February she didn't have gas or electric sorted so there was no um, heat in the house so I used the bongo as a, like a little office outside the flat and we were able to make cups of tea also when the electric got set up I had all the things here that we could just temporarily take inside the flat because she didn't really have cups plates you know how it is when you get a new flat she didn't have a cooker so all the things in the van were kind of help, helped us sort of make a little bit of a temporary home in her flat so the camping chairs that I keep in here we used the coffee the rice various and odds and ends from the food cupboards the 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 stove that I use for outdoor cooking we used in the flat so the bongo came into a whole new use during that period and as there was no heating in the flat you could use the sort of uh, the van to, to get warm and etc of course the van then also was used for numerous trips to Ikea for all the things that we needed and it's just amazing how much we had like trolley fulls of stuff and it just all fits so smartly into the van it was absolutely amazing moving furniture from Holly from our house rather to Holly's flat obviously the van was incredibly versatile for that but yeah odds and ends of furniture boxes etc all the baby stuff was transported using this van the other time the van has really come into its own was in the lead up to Holly actually giving birth she was in hospital quite a lot for checkups and various appointments and at the time only she was allowed in there so there was a lot of waiting around hospital car parks and it's all the more comfortable when you have the van at your disposal and you can make cups of tea in here so all in all the van has although it hasn't been used as a leisure vehicle as much it really has come into its own as the versatile uh, moving van waiting room and kind of supplier of all the things to get a flat going um, Holly now her flat is absolutely gorgeous it's all kitted out Albie's been born and obviously I'm spending a lot of time with them as well um, really sort of learning again caring for a newborn baby but I am really enjoying it and also I have started work again I know I said I was going to take um, some more time off this year um, I have got a part-time job it's three days a week I'm really really enjoying it um, but again it does mean that I have even less time for the filming so this is all a very much apologetic of why I haven't been around any um, over the last few months so I hope you can understand why I have been absent for the last few weeks I will be more regular and I will be posting at least monthly that's my hope at the moment anyway and the weather is getting nicer again it's we had a lovely warm break didn't we um, a week or so ago and even today it's quite gusty but it's dry it's quite pleasant outside it is lovely to get reacquainted with the van again today i'm going to cook a bit of brunch now i'm going to make some hot dogs on the ridge monkey with mustard and ketchup yum yum and then i'm going to chill out and read a book i think um 
back in work tomorrow, but I will get this edited up and hoping to publish on Thursday this week. The other thing that I haven't been doing over the last few weeks is watching all of the YouTubers that I enjoy watching. And I have got an awful lot to catch up with. So that's people like the Bold Explorer, Bloke in the Woods. So um, while I haven't been making my own videos, I haven't been watching them either. So yeah, looking forward to getting back into that. But for now, I am going to leave you. I'm going to make my hot dog and enjoy that. Look forward to seeing all the comments below. I have missed your comments. So please do leave a comment and I will look forward to seeing you again in the next few weeks. Take care, everybody. Hope you're all out as well, enjoying the lovely weather. And um, yeah, see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.